Ah, uh, let's just take a breath together as we just move into this part of our service. As you know, we have marched into March and we now have a new theme. And that theme this month is give, uh, giving and receiving. Giving and receiving is our theme for the month of March. And my topic for today is get out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. One thing I just wanna acknowledge is that there's a time change uh, there's been a, a time change uh, overnight, so not for those of us here in Arizona, but for some of you who are with us this morning, there, there's a time change, and uh, that just goes to show how what it really means that there's no time in God, because time, this whole concept of time is, is so man-made, and it doesn't make sense that some states change, change time, and some state, states don't change time, and people can't keep up with what time it is, and all that, so there's no time and space in God. Thank God for that. That's the gift. That's one of the gifts that we that that's already been given to us, that everything is in the now. Everything is happening right here and right now. And so let's just take a breath as we move into this space of right here and right now, talking about getting out of the way. You know, I talked last week about giving and receiving and the, the fact that it's a circle, it's a cycle that, that just happens over and over. You have to have one and then you have the other in order for the circle to be complete. Giving is an act of love, but so is receiving an act of love. And the circle must be complete by both of them happening. We, uh, God is the gift and the giver. And I was inviting everyone to be the gift and the giver in your own life, in your own world. Just setting, making your commitment to be the gift and the giver. And being open to receive just as we are open to give. Being open to receive just as we are open to give. And so today, what I'm just, just I wanna reinforce that by talking about getting out of the way of receiving, getting out of the way of giving, but giving out of the, getting out of the way particularly of receiving. Uh, Rachel Naomi Raymond in her book, My Grandfather's Blessings, wrote that most people have, re have been given more gifts than they have received. Most people, I'm sorry, she said blessings. More, most people have been given more blessings than they have received. And that's because our lives are so filled with so many other things that we don't have the time or the space or the attention to, to be open to receiving those blessings. And she just said, imagine that our blessings are circling around like airplanes at an airport trying to find a landing place trying to find a spot to land and they're circling, they're stacked up looking for a space to land because there's no space for them. There's no, there's no room for them. And so that's what's happening with blessings that are uh, in our own lives, that they are not, there's no place for them to land because we are so filled with so many other things. We are so blocked by so many other things that there's, they're just circling. Imagine your blessings, imagine the gifts, uh, imagine the gift that spirit already is just circling around, circling around, circling around, looking for a place to land. And we're like those fountains that the reading talked about that are just holding on, uh, questioning, doubting, not believing, whatever the case may be, afraid, dealing with fear, all those things that would block the blessings. And we're just, we're just complaining and doing all the things that we do. And the blessings are just waiting there. The gifts are just waiting there. Because as I always said, God is already, God is the gift itself. God is the gift and the giver. And so God has already given of itself, has given us all things, all things, everything. And all we need to do is open up to accept it, open up to receive it. And, and we do that by just getting out of the way. We do that by just getting out of the way. What, what, in, in whatever way that we are in the way, we need to get out of the way. That's where we need to be. We need to just get out of the way. And so what I'm inviting you to, to do today is, is first of all, take the blinders off and really see where, where is it in your life that you need to get out of the way? Where is it in your life that you're blocking the gifts that have already been given? Where is it in your life that, 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 that you don't have space for, you don't have room for those gifts, those blessings that have already been made? Do, do a real, real serious assessment of that. Where is it that you're holding on? Where is it that you are allowing fear to, 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 to rule the day? Where is it that you are allowing fear to keep you from even dreaming about what you'd like to have in your life? What kind of life you'd like to experience? Where is it that you are allowing control? Because sometimes you know, in order to get out, we stay in the way because we wanna control the situation. Not knowing that we don't have control anyway, but we, we try. 
And so what, what, what I'm asking you is do a, do a serious assessment, do a serious uh, 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 um, assessment, if you will, of where is it that you really need to get out of the way? Where is it that you really need to get out of the way? And then, you know, you can, this is something that you can add to your prayer work. Where is it that I need to get out of the way? way? When do I need to get out of the way? Well, when is not the question. When is always now. How do I need to get out of the way? Where do I need to get out of the way? How do I need to get out of the way? When do I need to get out of the way is right now. I need to get out of the way right now so that I can experience the allness and the fullness of life and the allness and the fullness of the gifts and the blessings that have been given so that I can participate in this law of giving and receiving so that I can live the life that I was created to live so that I can be that that, that, that inlet and that outlet for, the, for, 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 for that divine circuit? Where is it that I can, 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 can really just open up to let go and let God? That's what it's really all about. Just open up, letting go and letting God. And so I think that in addition to looking at where I can let go, how I can let go, the question for us is why am I not letting go? Why am I holding on to this? Why am I blocking myself from experiencing the allness and fullness of life? And am I willing, am I ready to let it go? Am I willing, am I ready to let go to really experience the allness and the fullness of life? And so I think that these are questions that it's really time for us to ask ourselves so that we can fully participate in life, so that we can live the life abundant, that we were created to live so that we can, can, can be those places and spaces through which God can express to the max. Imagine God expressing through the max in your life according to your own individuality. God is not gonna to express to the max in my life the same way God is gonna to express to the max in your life, but God is gonna express through the, to, to the max in each life according to our own individuality and according to our own openness. And we can only be open if we're willing to get, ourse get ourselves out of the way. And so I'm inviting you today to really look at where do I need to get out of the way? Where do I need to let go? Where do I need to, 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 to really let the rubber meet the road? Where do I really need to just say, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to have a different kind of life. I'm ready to experience all the things because you know time is passing and things are happening so fast, so fast that, that it seems like everything has, has just, just sped up. And it seems like things, time is passing, time is moving, things are changing. We never know from one minute to the next, we never did, but, but we certainly don't, we are aware now that we never know from one minute to the next what life is bringing. And so why not live fully now? Why not experience all of life that we can experience now? Why not experience the gifts that have already been given to us now? And why not experience them to the max? Why, why not just let go of all that stuff that we would let hold us back? And so, so do an assessment of where, take the blinders off and say, you know what? I need to give up control. I need to give up complaining. I need to give up whining. I need to, <laughs> I need to let go of, of, of my comfort zone. I need to do all of that and be willing to step up and step out so that God can step up and step out in my life as my life. This is, this is, this is where we wanna be when we do this assessment, taking the blinders off. And then once we take the blinders off, the next thing we wanna do is to create a space, create a landing space for these blessings. All these blessings that have been circling around, all the gifts that have been circling around, we wanna create a landing space for them. We wanna create a landing space. We wanna be available so that we can see them. So that, we can, so that we can be aware that they're all around us, so that we can be open to them. And so just looking at uh, uh, doing that assessment of, of, of where I need to, to, to get out of the way, it, it may be, as I said, giving up control. It may be doing something different. It may be uh, 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 being consistent in, in what we say and what we do in our actions and in our words, being consistent in our prayer work being consistent in our prayer, we're being consistent in, 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 in our spiritual practice, all those things, being committed to our spiritual practice, all of these things are the kinds of things that really help us to be in a place where we can open up and we can let go and we can really be in that, be anchored, anchored in the presence of God. Because, you know, once we start to get out of the way, we can, we can only get out of the way when, to the degree that we can trust, to the degree that we can trust. And getting out of the way does take trust. 
because we think that we have to be in control. We think that we have to know what's going to happen. We think we have to know how it's going to happen and all that. So being willing to, to, to really take a deep breath, to step back and to say, you know what? I'm willing to release whatever is blocking. I'm willing to release whatever is blocking. I'm willing, uh, Emerson says that, 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 that we have to, to get our bloated nothingness out of the way of the divine circuit. And so being willing to let our bloat at nothing to get our bloat at nothingness out of the way of the divine circuit so that, 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 that God can express fully and completely. And you know, we do that through spiritual mind treatment. We do that through our prayer work because in our spiritual mind treatment, what we are saying is that there's nothing in me that can block the divine. There's nothing in me to block the divine. And so doing our prayer work, doing our spiritual practice is what we do uh, first and foremost to create that landing space. We create that space by, by constantly going to prayer, constantly going into that place of oneness, constantly going into that, 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 that place of knowing that I am one with God and there's nothing in me that can block the full expression of God in and through and as my life. And so I am willing, as Emerson said, to get my bloated nothingness out of the way so that, that, so that, so, so that the, the allness and the fullness of God can express in me, in me as me, in my life as my life. And so this is what we want to do, create that landing space. If you need to do forgiveness work, because you, we know that forgiveness is, 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 is one of the biggies uh, that, that holds us back. Unforgiveness, rather, is one of the biggies that holds us back. And so if it, is, if, if it is a releasing, a letting go of resentment, if it's a letting go of judgment, if it's a letting go of blame, if it's a letting go of guilt, if it's a letting go of shame, if it's a letting go of whatever it may be, whatever it is that's holding us back, Whatever it is that we're holding against someone else or against ourselves, we have to let that go. And forgiveness is one of the big things. One of the big things that, that, that we hold on, that unforgiveness is one of the big things that we hold on to. And forgiveness is, 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 is a huge thing that creates that landing space for us. It's a huge thing, it creates a big space for us to allow God to express itself fully and completely. So I'm inviting you. If there's something that you're holding today, let it go. If, you, if there's something that, that, that you're holding, it's in the way, get it, let it get out of the way, get it out of the way. Open up and just allow, just allow, be in that place of allowing, just allowing the allness and the fullness of God to express in and through and as our lives. And that's when we get into that whole process of giving and receiving. And, 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 and as I said, the gifts have already been given. This is when we get into the second phase of it, of that, of that receiving when we are open and receptive and not blocking God and not blocking the actions of God, not blocking the gifts of God, then we're in that place of receiving and the circle is complete. That giving and receiving is happening. That giving and receiving is happening. That law of circulation is, is flowing freely in and through and as our lives. That law, and cir that law of circulation is happening. And we are beginning to experience the kinds of lives that we want to have. We begin to experience the kind of life that we really, really, really want to have. So I'm inviting you to create that landing space. Create that landing space. Let it go, whatever it is, whatever it is that you're holding on to. You may be in a comfort zone. It's really comfortable sometimes, even, even and we get used to, we get comfortable in the discomfort sometimes of what's known to us, what's familiar to us. Sometimes we, we, we stay in places that in spaces and in situations that really don't serve us because it's comfortable, because it's known, because to change means something different. To change means having to go into the unknown. The change to change means having to, to, to live a different way, to have things look a different way, to have things show up a different way. And you know what? That's what has been happening for us really over the last two years. Things have shown up in a different way. We've had to live our lives in different ways. We've had to do things that we didn't know how to do. We've had to learn things we didn't know how to, how, how, we, we, we didn't know we could even learn at this point. And you know what? There are some of us who are still resisting. There are some people who are still complaining about Zoom. There are some people who are still complaining about uh, whatever they, where they can't go and what they can't do and whatever the case may be. And you know, life keeps moving on. Life has moved on. It's been two years that we've been going through this pandemic. And if, 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 if you are still holding on, complaining about it, still holding on, can't wait till it's over, we don't know when it's going to be over. 
But we do know what's happening right now. We do know that we can adjust and adapt to where we are right now. We do know that we can live fully and completely in our lives, in our lives right here and right now, doing what is before us to do, doing what we are guided and directed to do, moving ourselves out of the way so that divine flow can come through, so that divine circuit, we are, we, we are in alignment with that divine circuit so that we receive the guidance as to what our next step should be. What is my next step? Where, where, is, where am I to go? What am I to do? All these things, the kinds of things that come up in, in, in our visioning questions. What am I to release? What must I embrace? All these things, are all, God is always showing us exactly what it is we need to do. Exactly what it is we need to do. So what we have to do is move into that place of trusting so that we can fully participate in the law of giving and receiving. So that we can fully participate in the law of giving and receiving and live the life abundant that we, are, we were created to live. And then the, 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 the next thing I want to, to tell you to do and to remind you to do and to invite you to do is to hang out in the let go. Hang out in the let go. Hang out in the let go. That is really being in a place of allowing, really being in a place of opening up, really being in a place of releasing, really being in a place of, of not holding on to anything not holding on to anything. And that's really hanging out in the let go. It's, it's, it's the first cousin to, to, to living in the not know. You know, and, and we, we, we go through that whole process of living in the not know, and then we hang out in the let go. And when we hang out in the let go, we really are in that place of trusting God because we don't know what's gonna happen next, but we know that whatever it is, is for our highest, highest and best. And we know that whatever it is, we don't have to experience it alone. We know that whatever it is, that, 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 that there's a space when we hang out in the let go, we are creating a space. We're creating a space for the allness and the fullness of God to flow, for that divine flow, for that fountain of life that God is, as the reading describes, that, that God is a fountain of life and, and the river of life. We allow that, that river to flow through us when we can hang out in the let go. And, 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 and we can let go in trust and let go in knowing that God has our back. Let go in knowing that God's got this. Let go in knowing that, that I'm guided and directed I, and, 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 and I can go any place from here, from where I am right now, because I have that constant companion who is guiding my every step who is guiding my every step, who is, who is guarding my every step, who's directing my every step, who knows my every step. And so when we can hang out and let go, we can be in a place of trusting. We can be in a place of allowing. We can be in a place of knowing that all is well. We can be in a place of knowing that all is well. And as we are in that place, then we create a space for all the gifts of the spirit to be expressed in and through and as our lives, for everything that we need to show up in our lives, for everything that we need and everything that we desire to show up in our lives, all those things that if our eyes and best show up in our lives. We, we create a space for our own lights to shine, for our own lights to shine, for we can be the best that we can be, but we can, can be, as I said, all that we were created to be. And so I invite you to hang out in the let go, Trust God and be willing to hang out in the let go. Just letting go, letting go of fear, letting go of doubt, letting go of anxiety, letting go of worry, letting go of competition. We don't have to compete for our good. We don't have to compete for our good. The 11th commandment, thou shalt not compete. Thou shalt not compete. Thou shalt, that's the 12th. Thou shalt not compete. Thou shalt not compare is the 11th commandment. Thou shalt not compete is the 12. So thou shalt not compare, number 11, thou shalt not complete, compete. So, so and, and you know what? Comparing is another way of blocking our blessings. Comparing is another way because we are, well, I can't do this because she does it so much better. Or I can't do it as well as he can. Or somebody has already done this before, so I know that mine won't be quite as good. So, so I, I won't try to do whatever it is that, that, that I was thinking that maybe I could do in this life. You know, all those kinds of things that come up are just blocks to blessings. Those are the things that keep our blessings circling around like at that airport. And so when we are willing to hang out in the let go, we just let it all go and just know that God's got our back, know that God's got this, and that God knows exactly how to do whatever it is. And when we can hang out in the let go, we begin to open up and to see 
where we're being nudged to do different things, where we're being nudged, where we're getting that little, that little gentle nudge, that, 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 that still small voice that is, that is directing us to, oh, go over here. Oh, take that step. Oh, don't, don't go over there. This is the way for you to go. And then different kinds of things start to show up in our lives just out of nowhere. And you begin to, when we are open and receptive and in place of letting go, we are in a place where we can see where, we begin to see where God's fingerprints are all over certain things. You know how some things happen and we call them coincidences. It's like, no, this is God's fingerprints are all over this. And, and when we recognize that, then we can trust and know that we're on the right path, that we're headed in the right direction. But that comes from hanging out in the let go. And when we are hanging out in the let go, we are trusting. We are trusting. We are trusting. And when we are trusting, look out. Look out, because God really does show up and show out in our lives. And so let's just take a breath, because as, as, I'm, as, I'm, as I'm talking about hanging out and let go, I'm, I'm, I'm so reminded of our favorite friend, Craig Haley. Uh, Craig Haley, our favorite friend, musical inspiration, a uh, longtime member of this community uh, made his transition this week. And we have, have sad hearts and hearts filled with love as we remember Tra uh, Fred, uh, Craig, I'm sorry. And my mind is, is racing right now because what I'm thinking of is that uh, the first time I met Craig, oh, several years ago when I first moved to Phoenix, I was speaking at another church and my topic was hanging out in the let go. And Craig was a musical inspiration. And after that service, he wrote a song called Hanging Out in the Let Go. And the next time I saw him well, it was over a year later, I was, I was at CLF and I was speaking there, not as, as the senior minister, but as a guest speaker. And he came in to, uh, to, to, to be our musical inspiration that day. And he sang Hanging Out in the Let Go. And he let me know that he had written that song after, having served, after we served together at another church. And it meant so much to me that he that he wrote that song. And it was such a powerful song, such a meaningful song, that every time I, I think of that, 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 that phrase, hanging out in the let go, I think about Craig. And so this morning, hanging out in the let go comes up perfectly in get out of the way, as, as I'm thinking of Craig this morning, and, and just allowing our community to, to just remember him this morning. I invite you to stay with us through the, the closing song today because we are going to be closing out our, our, our service today with our closing song honoring Craig and allowing him to, to share his beautiful music with us today. But I just wanted this community to know Craig was, 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 was one who shared the gift. He was the gift and the giver. He gave, gave us the gift of his music. He gave us the gift of his generosity of spirit. He gave us the gift of himself. He gave us the willingness to, 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 to be available, to, to, to serve, to give, to share, always. And so that, is, that, that is, is a good memory to have of at this time of talking about giving and receiving, about being the gift and the giver, because we know that Craig was a gift and he was the giver. His music was such a gift to all of us. And throughout the valley this morning, churches that he served uh, 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 with his beautiful music will be playing his music at the end of the service today. We'll be honoring him at the end of the service today. So I just wanted us to, to know that this is what's happening in our community. We love him, we miss him, we, we bless him, we bless his wife, Chris, and we completely surround them both in love and in light. And we certainly appreciate all the gifts that he gave to this community and the way that he shared himself with this community. And so I'm just gonna ask us now to just open our hearts and open our minds as we just move into prayer in this moment, just recognizing that taking a breath, we're taking that breath in and we are receiving the gifts of the spirit as we breathe in. We are receiving the gifts of the spirit and recognizing that one power, that one presence, that one life, that one mind that one breath, that one gift, that one activity that I choose to call God, that one that is my very life, that one is the life of each of us here this day, that one is that from which we can never be separate, that one is that within which we live and we move and we have our being, and it lives and it moves and it has its being in each one of us. Hmm, that one 
is God. And it is from this place of union and unification with that one that I speak this word in this moment. Just speaking a word of, for all of us this day, just knowing that we are each whole, we are each perfect, we are each complete just as we are. We are each unique emanations of the divine. And that God is right where each of us is right here and right now, guiding us, directing us, showing us the way. Every step of the way, whatever it is we need, all needs are met because God shows up as whatever it is we need. God shows up as health. God shows up as abundance. God shows up as, as prosperity. God shows up as, 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 as healing, as, as a comforter. God shows up as whatever it is, whatever we may need at any given moment. God is showing up as that, and we just open our hearts to accept and to receive the gift that God is in our lives, the healing that is happening in our lives, and anything that would make us move into a place of, uh, of having a sense of separation, anything like fear and doubt and anxiety and, and blame and shame and judgment and all that stuff, we just let that go. We let that go, and we open our hearts, we open our minds, we open our entire being to that healing presence of God that is in and through and as our lives right here and right now. This word goes out to the, 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 the war-torn areas and places where there are wars and rumors of war in Ukraine and Russia and everywhere on this planet where there's war and unrest. This word goes out for I know that God is in the midst of everything that is going on. God is in the midst of war. God is peace itself. And that there is peace happening, there is, there is love happening everywhere, for God is love, and God is in the midst, despite the appearance, despite the appearance, we hold to the truth that we know, I hold to the truth that I know, that God is right in the midst of everything, everything, everything. This prayer goes out to our government officials, knowing that, that right decisions are being made, decisions that are being made for the highest and best of all concerned. And that there's harmony and there's union and unity. And there is a concern for the community everywhere, everywhere. That there's peace and there's harmony and there's love and there's joy and there's light and all the gifts of the spirit, all of the qualities of God are showing up everywhere, are showing up everywhere for God is everywhere present. And so I pause momentarily now so that you may speak the names of anyone you'd like held in prayer. You may speak their names silently. You may speak them aloud, but you may speak them now. And so for all those whose names were spoken here this day, I just know that God is right where each of them is blessing and keeping them. And that all indeed is well. I speak a special word of blessing this morning for Craig Haley, just knowing that right where he is, God is blessing and keeping him, that he has shaken off the mortal coil and is moving on to his greater yet to be, moving on to his greater yet to be, moving into the light, and that his heart is filled with love and with joy. He is surrounded by the love of God. He is surrounded by the peace of God, and that peace is everywhere present, right where he is, right where he is, who so gives such thanks for the blessing that he was in this life and that he continues to be wherever he goes, wherever he is. I speak a special word of blessing this morning for Chris Haley, Craig's beloved wife, just knowing that right where she is, God is blessing and keeping her, that she is filled with peace and she is filled with peace of mind, and that she is completely surrounded by the love of God, completely indwelled by the love of God, and that every step that she takes, every step that she makes right here and right now, God is right with her, guiding her, directing her, comforting her, lifting her up into the light as she continues to release her beloved Craig. I completely surround the family, the Haley family, just knowing that right where each of them is, God is blessing and keeping them, and that there's peace and peace of mind and a releasing and a letting go of anything that would block the love and the peace and the comfort and the support that they supply for each other and that is coming to them from God itself. And so I just simply say thank you, Father, Mother God, for the word spoken here this day. As we as a community release Craig and surround Chris in love and harmony and peace hmm. in God. And I simply say, thank you, Father, Mother, God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. As I simply allow it to be. And so it is.
And so I invite you to take a deep breath now because we're just going to move into our closing song. And today, Craig Haley is going to bring us our closing song, as I said before. And one other thing I want to say, Craig was an ordained minister and he, he had a focus, uh, uh, his, his, his ministry was focused on animals and the people who love them. And he and Chris were co-chairs of the uh, Department of, of Humane Religious Studies at Emerson Theological Institute. And they also facilitated the uh, Animal Ministry Conference that was held here at CLF every year for, for several years. And so they were, they were really big in this community here. So we, uh, we really are going to miss Chris uh, Craig sorely. And we are honoring him today, as I said, throughout the valley. Uh, and his generosity of spirit. One of the things he said was that he did not want a memorial service because he didn't want people to be sad. And so he was always still thinking of, of others and thinking of, of, of and wanting to give the gift of his music and give the gift of himself. And so we just avail ourselves of that gift right now as we allow Craig to close us out with our closing song. Take good care. I love you. God bless you. I'll see you next week. out upon my life I see a crazy scene with lessons learned from things I've done in places I have been some were up and some were down and lots were in between it's a crazy mixed up melody that keeps my life serene Let's hang out and let go Said it's a place we can all go Let's jump right into that show You know it's called the Let Go Let's hang out and let go Cause it's a place we can all go we Jump right into that flow You know it's called the Let Go Let Go, Let Go That it's not as complicated as we can make it feel. Our thoughts can go and overflow by the size of our ordeal. See if blind own ego tries to get you to derail. Just give all those woes the old heave ho and stop a weaving those wicked tales. Let's go, you ready? Let's hang out and let go Said it's a place we can all go We're jumping right onto that show You know, you know it's called the let go Said let's hang out and let go Cause it's a place we can all go We're jumping right into that flow You know it's called the let go Let go, let go is really simple you learn that here today we control just how we feel and how we create our day but if you're feeling down and out and the skies they're looking gray just turn those clouds inside out and those blues say they'll blow away let's go Let's hang out and let go Said it's a place we can all go When we jump into that flow You know it's called the let go Let's hang out and let go Cause it's a place we can all go I jump right into that flow You know it's called the let go Said it's called the let go Let's go!